Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to a new video. My name is Jack and today we're having a new truck driving video. Let's go. So basically we are driving in a Duff again. Uh, this is a different Duff. We also have different error uh, yeah, signal signs. Yeah, that's Duff. <laughs> So basically, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of difficult companies. I have driven this uh, three times before now. I haven't recorded it any single time. Um, basically, um, there is two companies and the best way is to do it on your blind spot. It is possible though on your good side with the good mirrors, but it's gonna be very narrow and it's not gonna be a good time so today we're gonna check whatever we're gonna do of course we are here at Amsterdam as you can see a plane is just yeah lowering down so yeah so that's good um, we started at 1.30 uh, p.m. and today we probably gonna work till 11 p.m. Um, we're gonna start with uh, having two, uh, no, three customers at the beginning. Then we're gonna unload because we're gonna load those. So we're gonna unload at the company where I'm working for. And after that we're gonna switch trailers and then we will go to Venlo yeah it's about uh, I don't know 260 kilometers something or 180 I think it was 180 but we will find out later today when I put it in um, as you guys may have heard I also got a new JBL party box 310 and it's really good because I hated that I had to switch cars and like that I get this kind of stuff and it might not work and bluetooth always never works because it's not inside the car pre-built so i was done with that and i was like man i would just buy a fucking party box so i can like fucking tune to my own music you know i just want that i hate listening to radio and that kind of stuff also i'm gonna focus more on really recording the stuff that you guys are watching for so basically i'm gonna do less talking i'm gonna do more recording of the typical docking and learning you kind of stuff how it was back in the days without a lot of bullshit in between so i'm gonna stop talking right now and enjoy this video and don't forget to like the video so people will see it all over the globe so let's go okay guys so yeah we're going to the right over here you know corner to corner so keep close to the curbs you know um yeah so it's a little bit further ahead um i just wanted to say i have the head mount on i push it i changed the angle a little bit more down because i noticed last time i was recording this quite much so yeah i hope it will be better right now it's approximate yeah okay anyways yeah we are there about 800 meters and the fun part is like you're gonna encounter this a lot while truck driving because you will see the company but you don't need to be at the front okay because you're not gonna unload pallets at the front door you most of the times they have like a, ro a rolling door or however you want to call it um, yeah okay this Miata yeah go ahead so just keep in mind that you have to be on in the back on the back on the back of the building however you want to say it so yeah we are about here um let me check last time i remember that i couldn't find it because the house numbers were like fucked um is the bikers no is the car no okay then we just will go i remember from last time as well that i am coming from the wrong side so yeah that's kind of fucked I will show you guys because it's on the left over here as you can see and that with all the the poles and kind of stuff that's kind of hard to reach so I will just stand over here like I might as well just turn around over here there's more space over here okay so there we go
okay and what i will do right now um no i will do it a little bit further away you can do it now or later okay because this company fucked up the signs a little bit because over here on the sign it says deliver and on that side they say pickups but it's in reality it's turned around yeah so this is a hidden one i've never seen that before so last time i couldn't open it but a different driver was so helpful to help me with it so that's good i guess always make sure there's no cars and that kind of stuff there we go and once again make sure there's no cars okay so this is from your blind spot um, like always take your space and time we are not in a rush if you see a car let it pass that kind of stuff like this it's a car let it pass It's always a little bit difficult on your, like that side, that mirror. And like right now, just make it straight again or move it to the left then move it to the right to get to stay in that curve like now it's just easy you can see both mirrors i can see the pole on the left so i don't have to worry about it because i can see it now and now you're just going slowly make the corner if you think the trailer is straight you will turn fast and then you can just like slowly see if it is straight though see it doesn't have to be hard just take your time and think normally don't rush stuff you don't you're not in a rush like i want my trailer to be more to the left this uh There we go. Okay, so I will go inside. And you can see how many like drivers filled this because of all the damage you can see on the cones. I have to say this one is not really that hard because there's plenty of space. So yeah, I'm gonna load and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we just loaded. Um, quick example what I want to give to you guys is as well that like my doors are open right now and uh, I don't know, like the ramp is like very, like I can show you guys right now. I'm gonna make a rookie mistake, but I want to show you guys what I mean. Like the handbrake is on, it's a neutral. Like right now, if you want to close the doors, it's going to be fucking difficult. Because as you can see, like the sleep steep is like really high. So if I want to close the doors now, look where I'm standing. It's like really... I can't put pressure on it because it's so high up now. 
at least when there is like wind it will fucking come in your face so never do this but it's just an example so you guys can learn from it anyways now i think about it i want to show you this because there's like a bike lane over here so always stop in front of the bike lane especially like on this corners because it's really fucking busy over here always so before the time you can go like over here cars 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 and there's a biker coming and i still like can't go so i have to wait and if i was at that like the shark thieves over there i will block the full bikers lane and they will get annoyed which is understandable because it is fucking annoying when the truck is like blocking your road as well so yeah <laughs> yeah come on you can bike like less biker yeah yeah bye bye so yeah sometimes you just need to do that like especially on busy places I mean, the reason why though is like, first off, otherwise you will never get through because it's that kind of busy and you're like 16 and a half meters, like over here somebody does it to me right now as well. Um, and especially like, uh, I, wanna, I wanna really explain what just happened so you guys don't think like I'm a prick or something like that. Like over here, it's a, a 50 way, you know? and I'm driving 50 right now. And as you can see, 50 is not that fast, especially not on this road because it's like really wide and that kind of stuff. He didn't have any trailer on, it was just a truck and he was speeding as well. He was probably going 60 kilometers per hour, of course, not miles per hour. So yeah, he is speeding and then he has to like honk his horn and he is like kinda probably annoyed while he is speeding well i could easily make it if he was just driving 50. so yeah sometimes you will just have to do it you know so yeah i really want to explain that to you guys because sometimes it's just it's it is just like that you know sometimes it is just like that and like if somebody is speeding yeah i can't help that you know um the bike is waiting for me okay so yeah, I just wanted to say that sometimes you have to go like maybe you guys are thinking different than that but like just imagine in Amsterdam like the main street Amsterdam do you really think you can like get on there with your truck without I mean Amsterdam everyone in Amsterdam is most of the times like really busy with only their self so they will never like sign to you like oh you can go and that kind of stuff no it's not gonna happen so sometimes yeah I know it's maybe not that nice but sometimes you just have to claim the road as well but i've shown you guys that in the previous dutch videos that sometimes you really have to claim the road and the scenario was really not that bad at all he was speeding he didn't have any cargo so he couldn't break anything he was really far away yeah it's just basic understanding like nothing went wrong it went perfectly fine so yeah, we're gonna keep on going. I see you at the next customer. Let's go. Okay, so we are. This is like a blind corner, so easy. Don't like go full speed because you need the corner, and they have like this teeth that are sticking out. Just take it easy. It's not a busy place so far, so that's quite good. Um, yeah, so let's see. This is the company where I have to go. But remember, not the front door, the back door. So yeah, we have to go to the back door. And like, there's cars coming and I will just wait for a bit. Um, yeah, like on the right side, I also need some extra space. 
Like you cannot make this turn without touching those. Yeah, I can. So there we go. Okay, so basically I have to be here, like next to this building. I have to drive it backwards. At least I have to drive with the blind spot mirror. I have to drive it in. Um, a good thing to tell you right now is that um, normally I will take it from the good mirror side. Uh, last time I did it, uh, it was kind of like, you can see like the corner is really like straight to the point and over here there's a pole. So your mirror will all, almost touch the pole and you can't make the turn in one time. So you also need to uh, pull forward onto the grass and then you can go backwards like straight. So, yeah, I, I mean, of course, just with the front wheels. But then again, a friend of me, when it was raining, got stuck. So I will just use the blind spot. I'm okay with that. Double check this. Oh yeah, of course, the hidden one. Okay, so here we go. Like I will just go now, like one third, maybe two thirds, because it's a little bit narrow over here. Open your, like, open your window so you can hear when somebody is honking at you. One biker. One biker. So yeah, I've said it before, you know, I'm still very young, I'm still learning. And yeah, sometimes you just need to take extra time with kind of stuff. This is for me the first time I, will, I did this company through the blind spot. So yeah, sometimes it's just necessary that you take your time. Like, you can say whatever you want to say, but I made no damage. I will pick up the delivery and no one is like annoyed, so. I'm happy. Not the cleanest if I do say so myself, but it's okay. We made no damage and that's the most important thing if you ask me. So the first time I went um, a little bit too far. So when I like backed up, I was almost 
uh, my trailer was at the pole over there and I had to be more on this side. Well, yeah, because on the other side you also have a pole and I didn't want to hit that as well. But as you can see, it went okay, not too great, not in one time, but it doesn't have to be in one time, you know. Once you get the job done, that's more than enough. And I was well aware of my surroundings with bikers and that kind of stuff. And safety before all. So yeah, I'm gonna load and I'll see you at the next company. Okay, I was in a scenario where I couldn't record, but it's okay. Um, I know this customer, it's a heavy load, it's heavy cargo. What you wanna do is like put it down, I already done it. How you do it is you press this button, then you press it down. And after you leave, you're gonna press this one. Um, but the whole um, the whole car is under, the truck's under like really uh, under, ten under tension right now. So I would like to release the brakes so everything is like stabilizing. And now we're gonna load. Okay guys, so here we are again. It's gonna be a little bit noisy over here. Why is it so high though? Huh, I will have to check on that. Why is it so high? Hello? There we go, now it's going down. So yeah, if you pull it, it will like stabilize. Okay, lights are working. Perfect. Okay, last thing I have to do. Yeah, I don't know why, but you need to be sealed while leaving. And you need the deadlock to be on it as well. So, at least, I guess that's how it's called. Okay, now we will go to the exit and there we will get a seal and then we will be finished. We're going back to Amsterdam. And tomorrow we're driving for a company where I can record way more stuff. So that's quite interesting. Um, put it to normal, yeah. Okay. And look at all the tension because I dropped the trailer. You saw that? That's insane. <laughs> 
Anyways, I'm gonna head off, so I will see you guys at the parking. So I'll be right back to you guys. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today. It's uh, almost 1 a.m., so yeah, it's time to head off because I have to work. Instantly, when I can tomorrow, I have to take nine hours of rest. Uh, and then I will just have to keep on going. So if I'll make it today uh, home, like I'll be home at um, probably two o'clock and I have to start at 10 a.m. in the morning, something like that. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like the video. It really helps me out. So if you could just spare me one second and do that for me, I would fucking love that. And if you do that, Look over here, it's my beautiful car. And over here is the JBL boombox. Uh, I might record some audio later, maybe in the next video. We will see, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. My name was Jack and until then. Woo!